Good evening. Um, so this was two Sundays ago, Sunday evening, um, we had a devotional that evening um, for the, the youth devotionals. Um, and Tommy uh, came up to me like a week or so before and asked me if I wanted to uh, do the, uh, lead the, vo- the devotional that night. And I was like, sure. Uh, yeah, I want to do it. Get, um, get a few or- more under my belt. So, um, <laughs> so as I was preparing and preparing the, um, the diva I was going to give, I wanted to give something um, not more this is that, that is this something more practical for our lives. And I wanted to do something, um, I, did, I did a Devo about persistence, and um, I applied it to my life, um, so I showed them a few of my wrestling videos um, I have on my phone. Um, and it was, I showed them three different videos, um, two of them which I won the, the match, and one of them which I lost. Um, and I played, I played the two um, that I won the first time, I played the two that I won first, um, so I can show them um, what it's what it's because the the people I went against weren't weren't that um, good. <laughs> so, um, so I wanted to show them what it was like for something to be easy, not a whole bunch of. Um, not I didn't put a lot of work into the match because I knew I was going to win anyway in the outcome. But the last match um, I went I showed them was. Um, at Regions this year, and it was um, it was against this kid named Tyler Cross from South, um, which I lost the match um, by a few by two points I think. And um, um, the video was split up into three different segments, four different segments actually. Um, one of them, the first part ended where the first the first round ended. The second part ended. Um, where um, he was put on injury time because I think he had like a bloody nose or something. And the third part was where I was put on injury time because I hyper in my knee and the last one was at the end of the match. Um, so I wanted to get, I wanted to see um, what they found different from the first two to this one, to the last one. Um, and they're like, yeah, you seem more tired, more not in the correct, um, um, thank you, that's the one I look for, form, um, you know, my, you're supposed to keep your, le- your knees bent, and my knees were locked, um, supposed to stay a little lower, um, I was all hunched over, you know, trying to catch my breath, because I was, I was real tired, real tired, and I remember the match kind of vividly, um, and I wanted, to, I wanted them to keep in mind the whole topic of persistence, and the thing about it was, they said, um, um, I displayed persistence more in the last match than in the first two because you, they said I had to um, really focus on what I was doing um, in the first, in the second, in the third match than the first two, which were more like kind of drill, drill matches, I, pr- I would prefer to say. Um, they said you had to figure out. Um, what happened when a move didn't go right, I had to go to a different move. Um, what happens when a move got countered, when I got taken down and I had to get back up. <clears throat> and through all that, um, I asked them after, I asked them what their definition was persist- of persistent was. And they said, um, um, what Matt, Matt, I think Matt had the best definition of it. And he said, um, getting through something, getting through a challenge of adversity um, and pushing through it and not giving up. And I was like, okay, can y'all think of any instances in the Bible where it says that? And, and they were, they were kind of um, puzzled at that, at that moment. And I was like, okay, I have a few I wanted to give you. And the few I have um, were Luke chapter 11, verses 5 through 11, um, of the persistent friend, and Luke, thir- uh, Luke 18, um, Luke 18, 1 through 8, of the persistent widow. Um, as I was reading the story to them um, in the Bible, they were like, yeah, yeah, these, these are really good, um, really good um, instances of persistence in the Bible, but what is your definition of persistence? And I was like, okay. I threw a little curveball at me because I wasn't really um, prepared for that. And, I, and what I said was... 
um, going through everyday life, not having, um, not having to sit at home and do nothing all day, but to go out and live your daily life without um, any any um, regrets or what's the any regrets or um, complaining through your day like at work when something's not going right or maybe an order wasn't put in right or um, when you're driving home when someone's going 20 in a 45 zone um, or someone cuts you off on the highway or something. Um, it's just those, those times of viewing persistent in your own lives is where you would really get the definition of persistence um, in your own in your own words throughout your day, and if you need any prayers or you're not you're not sure um, you're not sure what um, how to live pers- how, how to live persistently in your day to day life and come as we stand to sing our invitation song.